welcome. Uh, my name is Jenna Irvin. I am the science specialist here at Kids Bay's Children's Museum and today we are um, going to be making some butterfly habitat. So Kids Bay's butterfly season is coming up where you can adopt a butterfly and then release it inside one of our uh, big butterfly releases. It's really beautiful, really fun, but that means that you are going to need a place for your butterfly to live between the time you get him as a caterpillar and the time he becomes a butterfly and he's ready to go out to nature. Um, so we're going to be making butterfly habitats for our butterflies to live in. Now butterfly habitat can use any old cardboard box. I have a box here for a electric Mighty Pro blower that will do just fine. Um, you're also going to need some tools. Um, I have a little cardboard saw here. I really like these cardboard saws. Uh, they're from Canary, which is a Japanese company. You can pick these up on Amazon. Um, and I like these because they have the little Teflon blade and they're really small and easy to handle. So they're great for little hands. Um, you're going to need some scissors, you're going to need some nature, sticks, leaves, whatever. Um, some tape, any old tape will do. I have some masking tape, but you can use scotch tape or duct tape. Um, and you're going to need something that is see-through to make your butterfly habitat window. Uh, so I have some netting here. It's just a scrap of netting, came off of an old dress. Um, or you can use some like laminate scraps, so some clear plastic. If you can find a cardboard box that already has a clear plastic window, like a toy box, that's great. Um, or you can even use some saran wrap or some other kind of clear material. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is make a couple uh, windows inside your box. So the first one's going to be the viewing window. So I'm just going to draw a window here. Doesn't have to be fancy or straight or anything. Anything will do. And then the second one is the way you're gonna get into the box to actually put your butterfly in, or your caterpillar, depending on how old it is. Now this box is handy because it already has another flap on the back. Um, if your box doesn't have another flap on the back, you can just draw another window, one that's big enough for your hand, and you're just gonna cut that out and tape a little flap of cardboard over it that you can get in and out of. All right, so this box has this little thing here, so I need to get that off. Okay, and then I'm just going to tape it on. It doesn't have to be super neat or tidy. Alright, so once you have your caterpillar box, now we want to make it homey for the caterpillar. So we're gonna open up the back. All right, so this is your caterpillar's habitat. Um, when you get your caterpillar, it's gonna come in a little plastic cup, uh, if you get it from us. And that plastic cup is gonna have the caterpillar in it and it's gonna have some food. So when you put the caterpillar in here in its little cup, um, there's food in there for the caterpillar. The caterpillar will eat that food and it'll become a chrysalis and usually the chrysalis will form on the top of the little cup. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to take that little lid and you're going to well, have a little chrysalis on it. You're going to need some hot glue. Just put a tad of hot glue on your lid or you can even use some scotch tape and just stick it right up on the top. And then you're going to put some nature in there for your butterfly to hang out on. And you're going to leave that cup in there because the butterfly can use some of that food, but also you can uh, get a little dish and put some sugar water inside that dish with a like a cotton pad, and the butterfly can eat from that too. We'll leave some notes with this that tells you kind of how you can care for your caterpillar and your butterfly. Um, what's the are in their habitat? So we got our nature in there. We can close it up.
And then if you want, you can even make the front pretty. You can add some stickers or write butterfly world on it or however, however you want to do it. And now you have a wonderful caterpillar habitat. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you wanna know more about how to raise your caterpillar and keep it healthy, there will be notes with this video. And I hope to see you next time.